Geographic once asked me to photograph an expedition boating the Salmon River in Idaho. Rugged, rugged stretch of water. So rugged, Lewis and Clark described it as the river of no return. And in the heart of that very wild place, the current swept us around a bend in the river and there, staring at us from the shore, was this extraordinary character. He was wearing a coonskin hat and a buckskin shirt had an ancient rifle resting on his shoulder. Gave us a friendly wave, inviting us to come ashore. His name was Buckskin Bill Hart. And that night, over dinner, he described how he came to be living in such a remote place. And the year after he graduated from college with his degree in engineering, of course he was looking for a job. But everywhere he went, he saw a country that was collapsing. The stock market had crashed, banks were closing, millions of workers were losing their jobs. The year was 1929. It was a terrible time to be starting a career. Buckskinville realized he had to come up with a new vision for his life. So he created this visual story in his mind, imagining how he could use his engineering skills to create a self-sufficient life found this land on the Salmon River, figured out how to build a cabin, how to make the things he would need from shirts to shoes, from coffee mugs to copper containers. By creating a new vision for his life, Buckskin Bill built a bridge from where he was to who he hoped to be. And he persevered, living his dream of a self-sufficient life on the banks of the Salmon River 50 years. Well, isn't that what we're all trying to do? Create a vision for our organizations and for our lives, building bridges from where we are to where we hope to go.